Chef Anthony L. Britton here. Carolina Cook to be Carolina. I'm going to do some cough. 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 That Kofta, is pretty dummy. much um, an Indian dish. It's like an Indian meatball curry. All right. I have my rice prep right here. So I'm going to throw it with some rice and then I'm going to prep it with some uh, green chili. Uh, He's going to call this jalapeno a chili a hundred times. Two cups of red onions, finely minced. One pound of ground beef. This is normally a mutton dish, which is lamb meat, but I'm using ground beef. Normally, you use almond flour or whatever. Some people use yogurt or whatever, but I'm using all-purpose flour. Uh, what? Quarter cup. One and a half cup of water. Uh, fresh minced ginger uh, about one tablespoon each of uh kanye pepper uh coriander ground coriander seed paprika uh turmeric and kanye pepper uh about one teaspoon of uh freshly uh minced garlic to garnish i'm going to use fresh mint leaves and fresh cilantro leaves. We're gonna use one egg. Gonna use cooking oil as needed because you're gonna have to fry the meatballs after you blend everything together. All right, and I'll come back with the finished dish. Don't call it a comeback. Y'all should smell the smells coming out of here. You are the fool. <laughs> of course, I don't have a cameraman so I couldn't show it. But what I did was add half of the ginger Half of the Kanye pepper, half of the paprika, half of the uh, turmeric, half of the coriander, ground coriander seeds, half of the uh, red onions, and one egg to one pound of ground beef. Now I'm getting ready to mix that all together and uh, make the meatballs. Then once you make the meatballs, you're gonna fry them in the grease, uh, not fully cook them, but fry them until they evenly brown all around. So I'll roll them around in the grease for about six minutes. Make sure they cook. Put them on this rack right here, let them drain. Then uh, I'll do my curry sauce with the flour, the water, and the rest of the ingredients uh, over here on the stove. Then uh, once I do that, uh, we'll have our finished dish. Now, basically what we're doing now is browning the meatballs. You basically want to roll them around in the grease until they're brown. You don't want to fully cook them. But you just want to brown them. I'm working with one hand here though. Y'all should smell the smell of these seasonings and smell the smell of it cooking. I mean, the aroma is amazing. It really is. But uh, we're gonna do this for about six minutes. Make sure they're nice and firm. Then I'm gonna transfer them to the tray, let them drain. Then we're gonna get into making the curry sauce. Then we're gonna get our rice garnish and everything going. It doesn't take long to cook this. Once I get it on the stove, get the uh, gravy and everything going. It should take probably 20 minutes to cook these. All right, but let me get up. Let me uh, get back to rotating these. You want to make sure they they're brown even evenly cooked got my sauce going what I did was saute the onions till they were translucent in about a teaspoon of oil and add a little extra oil um, that was the second half of the onions because you divide it in half uh, then I added some green peppers, my uh, green chilies Jalapenos. that I'm going to use to garnish with, but I may as well let, let the flavor cook off in that sauce a little bit. At this point in consistency, you want to add your meatballs. Um, I added the ginger, the onions. Well, after you get the onions translucent, you add the ginger, the remaining ginger, you add the remaining garlic. You cook that for about a minute, then you add your... Uh, the rest of your seasonings because you have everything up all the seasonings that I mentioned then you uh, add 
your flour. And now, I'm going to add my meatballs. You're going to let these meatballs pretty much cook uncovered, simmer uncovered for about 25 minutes. Careful not to uh, break them. We get a spoon. Find a spoon here. Because you want to cover these meatballs with the mixture. I'm going to let them go for about 25 minutes. And we'll be ready with this dish. So you can see all your onion and garlic in there. You cover these meatballs. You put one chili over here, one over here. Let all that cook in together. Cover these meatballs with the sauce. You're gonna let that simmer for 25 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna adjust the heat to probably like a medium. And uh, we'll be ready. Gravy nice and spicy. Here's the finished dish. Got my green chili there. Jalapeno, man. Got my curry sauce there. With the curry meatball. I don't remember the name of the dish already. That's why I'm not saying it. <laughs> but it'll be in the dish. Pasta, fool. It's an Indian dish. I always wanted to try Indian food. I have it garnished with cilantro, fresh cilantro, and fresh mint leaves. I always wanted to try Indian food. It's very spicy. Yeah, it's got a bite to it. It really does. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's just get into it. See all those spices and everything in that herbs and everything in that meatball. Oh, oh my. Y'all, a taste of India. A dude in the South, a dude in the South cooking an Indian dish. Now, first time trying Indian food. Get some chili. Get a piece of chili. Why you keep saying chili? Oh my, yo. And the way I let the chili simmer in there. This. Not too spicy. Very tender. Nice taste. Check out the presentation. That's how chefs do. Oh, you ain't all that. All right. That's pretty good, y'all. That is good. You can travel the world from your kitchen, y'all. Oh, you, you just travel the world from your kitchen. Here I am in South Carolina in the sticks eating Indian food. Oh, I just got a hit of that mint leaf. Y'all. Next level. Why do you keep Next talking with food in your mouth? Dude, dudes, man. If y'all want that girl to marry y'all, want that woman to marry y'all, y'all better get up on this here, right? All right? 
she will say yes. Man, ain't nobody um, gonna marry you over no meatballs. What you talking about? Indian food. I have went to India from a kitchen in South Carolina. Everything came together. It's spicy. Then you got the mint. Then you got the cilantro. Cilantro got a little slight minty taste itself. Then you got all the onions and the garlic and the ginger and the meatball inside of the meatball. See that? Yo. Then get a little bit of that green chili there. Cilantro, mint. Everything comes together. Yo, Indian food, hands down. How much time this food going to say Indian food? This is where a lot of spices are imported from and all of that. And they just, I just always wanted to try Indian food because the spices and the flavors and everything just seem so pronounced. And here it is, I have a Indian dish here tonight. Some, with this dish, you can serve it with Indian, Indian flatbread or whatever Indian bread they use. I think it's Indian flatbread and, and, and rice. So in this case, I used rice. And y'all, it's so delicious. I mean, the flavors that are dancing in my mouth right now, I mean, I cannot describe it. I can't describe it, man. It's you got the mint, you got the cilantro, then you got the kick of the curry spices with the uh, coriander, the paprika, the Kanye pepper, and the uh, turmeric. Then you season that with salt and pepper to taste. You know, and it's just, and there's many ways people make this dish. You can use tomato paste, you can use yogurt as a thickening agent in the gravy. There's all type of ways as that varies across the world but this is the variation that i i made y'all this is delicious this is delicious this chef status right here man i'm telling you got my presentation right got the stack on that rice got the curry meatballs going the mint and cilantro, cilantro topped it off perfectly, man. Hey, man. This is what it is, Chef Anthony Albright in the Carolina cook, cooking the Carolinas. You see the sauce. You see the sauce. Can't nobody sauce it up like me. I'm out. I'll put the name of the dish in the uh, description. I, and it's in some of the videos, you know, the steps that I went through. Um, Fool, you done edit the video together. And if you have any questions on how to make this dish or whatever, because I don't think I'm really going to like put the recipe up in the description or nothing like that, but if you have any questions, ask. And, uh, you know, or just look look the dish up. Man, there's, there's many variations to it. Variations to it. Good dish, man. Hands down. I love it. I love the taste of India. Love the taste of India. Yeah, just took y'all to India. I just went to India. Fool, you been right, right here the whole time.